are an embodied reflection of Source. You are thus infinitely empowered, abundant, and a co-creator with your context always. You are an alchemist. Divination works because the web of life is intelligently organized with coordinated and storied agency. Let's take a look at the stories playing out now. Hi everyone, it's Erin. Welcome to August 2016. So let's get started with your alchemy scope for this month. Um, as we always do, we're going to tap into the Sabian symbol that's imbued at this particular Leo New Moon degree point and thus tap into the collective narrative, what is unfolding for the macro scale, for the collective, for all of us. And then I'm going to tune into the I Ching and we're going to tap into your particular sign's narrative, what is the unfolding theme for your storyline. And then again, as I always do, I'm going to pull up the um, embodiment. So who are you to optimize? become this month in order to flow through this month with ease and with optimal least effort. And we're going to do that via the Dakini. But to start this month, I um, went ahead and laid out using Chip Richards Animal Oracle cards, which are beautiful, laid out 12 cards, which you'll see in the next clip. And I want you to tune in over the course of the reading, tune into one card, just one, because this is a practice on really honing one, what your main message is, but two, honing your intuition to tap into your soul's desire for your growth edge. So what is your soul telling you needs to be attended to most? That's why I want you to tap into just one, okay? And then at the end of the video, I'll do the reveal. So in the meantime, I wanna thank so much those of you who have subscribed, liked, and shared my videos. I never say that in these videos, and I think I'm needing to do that. Um, but please subscribe if you haven't already. If you're interested, if you've seen some of my scopes in the past and haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you like this scope, there's lots of other things that I do. I do art channelings and I do various bits and pieces that come forward in these monthlies. So I hope you enjoy. And I want to remind those of you that aren't aware of my patron, uh, my patron account, I guess I would say, um, my patrons, that, that join this alchemy family for $11 or more per month get some amazing rewards. And I wanna make sure you're aware of what those rewards are. Very briefly, I've been doing daily videos now. So Monday through Friday, I do a video short every day and post it and give that to my patrons. And those are pieces of um, guidance and support and love notes. So daily you get support from me via the Patreon via your support. So that's my co-support back to you. And in addition to that, there's a monthly live Q&A call where we all gather together and um, you can ask your questions via video or via chat. So they have been in Skype, so it's been video to video grouping, gatherings together where you get to not only speak to me but meet some of the other people in this alchemy family, which is really fabulous. And in addition to that, there's a mid-cycle alchemy scope live. And that's a live stream on YouTube. And um, that is uh, done at the full moon because the, I work with the new moon cycle. So the mid-cycle alchemy scope always happens at the full moon. So you are more than welcome to dive in and read about the benefits to the $11 and up patron rewards that you get because they really are what I'm doing is I'm wanting to be able to offer as much as I can to as many people as I can and I'm wanting to earn a living doing this as well so for your support you get a lot of rewards back okay so the link is below this video in the description box as is my website as is all the other links that you need for this video so let's get started hi everyone so I am going to be laying out these beautiful animal oracle cards for you. I'm going to lay out 12 and I'm going to um, face them downward and I would like you to tune in to one, not several. I want you to tune in to just one. So this is going to be a practice of your intuition. We all need to get much, much better, much clearer 
on our intuitive guidance system. That is the way forward. So I'm going to lay these down and I really do want you to hone in, pause the video if you need to, and tune into just one. So let's start selecting our cards. I'm going to make sure that you can see as I'm laying them out. I think so, yeah. It's a little bit up there. Let's put it down here. Okay, and Okay, everyone, so start tuning in, and what we're going to do is we're going to come back to this video, this segment at the end of the video, with them reversed. So I'd like you to go ahead and select one, start tuning in now, and then confirm it at the end of the video, and then you'll see them turned over. I hope that makes sense. I'm just giving you time, essentially. Okay, so yeah, it's fitting. You can see everything, which is beautiful. Let's see if we can fit them all though. So what animal totem is gonna have a message for you? Okay, so let's do our last two over on this side. Okay, beauties. So, let's see. Yeah, you can see all of them, perfect. So, start your tune-in process, everyone. And then again, we're gonna go on to the rest of the information that came through for you this month. And then we're gonna come back and you're gonna see them reversed and we're gonna just touch on the meanings for you. Okay? Wonderful. Hi everyone. So let's take a look. On the collective scale for all of us, for humanity as a whole, we're looking at the macro cycle. And to do that we pull up the Sabian symbol, the imagery, the scene, the picture, the symbology that's imbued at the exact degree point of our new moon cycle. So we have a really amazing symbol this month, everybody. An evening party of adults on a lawn illumined by fancy lanterns. Now, some of the key words here are social life and compassion, or excuse me, and companionship and fun. So this will be a monthly cycle naturally involving social life, friends, and fun. And this is good news because uh, events on the global stage have been intense and dark. So there will be lightness for those of us on the Northern Hemisphere and on the Southern Hemisphere, both. So there will be a lightness imbued this month at the undercurrent. This is good news. So if we move on now, Aquarius, to your microcycle, we're looking at the I Ching. And you received one I Ching hexagram that came forward to reflect the unfolding story for the Aquarius demographic. You received number 61, Centering in Truth. And Centering in Truth has to do with an alignment of inner and outer, inner, um, realities and outer experience. There's some alignment going on for you. And there's also a desire, I think, to get to the root of something. You're experiencing truth and alignment in some manner. And also, maybe you're going to want to dive deeper into an area in your life. So there is an alignment into a deeper level of truth for you. Now, if we move on now to your spread, we can see that in the center section are two cards, on the right path and affection. And this really uh, validates the centering and truth because here we're seeing that there is an alignment happening for the Aquarian demographic at this time. Now this is a general reading, but I am tapping into kind of the general uh, unfolding story for the evolution of Aquarians at this time. So a lot of you are going to be experiencing this, but there is an alignment. You're on the right 
path. You feel, you experience that you're on the right path when it comes to maybe receiving affection, giving affection. Maybe you feel that you deserve love and affection and indeed it's coming to you. And you're also able to express it. So the flow of in and out, of inner and outer experience is indeed aligned. It is the right path. And there's an experiential reality that a lot of you are going to be feeling over the course of August. If we look at the far right side, we see the trading exchange card, and that's in the spiritual sector. So again, what this is talking about is the exchange of flow, the exchange of energy. So in the realm of spiritual exchange, you are feeling that affection is on the right path. You're attuned, you're aligned. This is beautiful. Now at the bottom sector is the 3D reality sector. It's the foundations, uh, physical foundations of the month for you. And this has to do with community. It has to do with tribe and maybe making another choice. So what I think is for a lot of you, as you center in truth, as you move into an alignment to your inner needs and your outer experience, you are perhaps making another choice, making a different choice when it comes to tribe, friends, community. Okay. So you're wanting to connect more with those of like mind, which is very appropriate for now, for these times. And if we look at the opposite end, up at the very top of the spread, emergence is coming up. That's the mental sector. So for you, you have thoughts emerging, new thoughts coming together of the affection that you'd like to see come about in your life and the need perhaps to find a new community, find a new tribe, find those of like mind. In the emotional sector, we see later believe beauty. You are feeling, this is beautiful Aquarius, because you're having a, an assimilated feeling in your body that indeed you can imagine beauty for the future, that you can actually see that you deserve affection, that you deserve beauty, and that it can come about. So you see it happening for you in the future, and you might be starting to step into that reality in August, okay? Now, beautifully, again, uh, it always comes up perfectly. It never, the messages that come are never incorrect. They're the perfect aligned message. If we go back to the Dakini, the guidance for Aquarius, who are you to become this month? You received number 21, Ecstatica. Ecstatica, this is from Penny Slinger 64 Dakini Oracle. 21 Ecstatica is about movement. It's about dance. So it's about feeling in your body energy and letting it move through you. It is literally about dancing and the ecstatic nature that moving the body in the moment, in the now, in the flow of energy that's flowing through you can bring. So this is about you being in joy. This is about you moving your body. This is about you activating yourself. Now, what I want to say is, because you're looking perhaps for a new choice of tribe, a new choice for community, it could be that you are going to connect with people through movement. So whether it's five rhythms or whether it's some other, whether it's yoga or whether it's just dancing, you know, in a local club, it could be that you're going to find your people through movement. So keep that in mind and embody ecstatica this month. Okay, let's move on to your Animal Oracle card. Okay, everyone, we're back. And I am going to begin to turn these over. Again, I'd really like you to tune into just one of these cards. It's easy to select more than one. And I'm not going to prevent you from doing that. But by tuning into your main core guidance, your main core animal totem guidance that wants to come through for you this month of August in our Leo new moon cycle. That is really going to be the optimal information for you because it's going to be the clear message. You're not going to be confused by the message. You're not going to be um, torn into two different threads of thought around the message. So try to pick just one. Okay. So here we go. 
gecko. And a leaf just wanted to join us. Salmon. Actually, a beautiful wind just came up. Gaia. Dolphin. Lion. How perfect for Leo. Black cockatoo. Crow. Orange bellied parrot. Beautiful. And we have a little bit of a wind coming up here. Lotus blue butterfly. Condor. Golden orb spider. Albatross. Okay, so let me make sure you can see everything. Beautiful. So let's talk about it one by one. So the gecko. If you selected gecko, everyone, what is asking, what your own higher self is asking you to um, attend to this month is thoughts around synchronicity, optimism, truth, and mobility, flexibility, going with the flow. This is number 33, as you can see, which is a master number, and that's something to be mindful of as well as you navigate your month. So if you picked Gecko, it's about activating in your life the thoughts, the perceptions around synchronicity, optimism, truth, and mobility. If you selected Salmon, this is number five. Number five uh, talks about creativity, instability, and change. This is about this month for you who select Salmon, faith, determination, independence, and change. So it's about you uh, adjusting yourself to these points. Have faith, be determined, activate your independence, and be flexible with change. If you selected beautiful Gaia, so of course Gaia is the Greek goddess of earth, and Gaia is about harmony, abundance, wholeness, and forgiveness. My holistic science uh, background was based on Gaia theory. So it's very keyed in to the work I do with connecting people's soul print to nature. And this is number 46. Four is about stability. Six is about guidance, family, home, faith. So, and that together of course is 10. One is new beginnings. But if we look here at the qualities, this is about if you selected this card, you activating harmony, abundance, wholeness, and forgiveness in your life over the course of this month. Your main guidance. If you selected dolphin, this is number four. And dolphin is fabulous. The dolphin is about joy, light, flow, and compassion. So those are the qualities that are wanting to be evoked through you over the course of this month. Joy, light, flow, and compassion. And look at this, beautiful lion wanted to come up. And how perfect too, this is number 11, of course a master number, talking about light workers, talking about um, bringing your gifts to the fore, being a teacher. Now lion is about power. It's about loyalty, leadership, and family. So for you this month, if you picked Lion, it is about activating your innate power. You activating your own loyalty to your own ideas, to your own, um, I'm hesitant to say belief systems because that can be too dogmatic, but loyalty to who you are, to your essence self. Leadership. Activate your leadership this month and also be mindful of family. Keep family and bonds in your thoughts, mind, and actions this month. So for those of you who picked Black Cockatoo, this is about heralding communication. It's about activating confidence. It's about companionship. Activating companionship and it's about communication. 
The number here is 45. So that equals 9. Of course, 4 and 5 equals 9. 9 really is about completions and a graduating from the whole previous numbers, the whole previous cycle. Um, so, but this is about de the development of confidence, heralding new information, activating companionship, and uh, communication as a general theme. If you selected Beautiful Crow, this is number 27, again adding up to nine. Okay, so again, if you selected this, there are some completions and endings that wanting to come about for you this month. So this, again, everyone, is about communication. Crow specifically is about transformation. It's about stories, narratives. It's about universal law. So crows are traditionally like messengers, tricksters these points, these portal points between dimensions. They are very powerful and very wise. So yes, indeed, communication, transformation, story, and universal law. And if you pick, now this is the first time this one's come out, orange-bellied parrot, number 36. And look at that, everyone. That's also equaling nine. <laughs> Okay, so we have the third nine in a row here. If you selected orange-bellied parrot, this is about activating through you radiance, expression, yet again expression. So communication is really coming to the fore here. Communication and acceleration. So this is about activating in an expedited way what you are here to express and communicate at this time. Beautiful. Now, let's take a look here. So if you picked the Lotus Blue Butterfly, this is number 34. Three and four equals seven. Seven really does talk about magic. Um, and this is about transformation. This is about becoming. So this is about an evolution of self that's activated or wanting to become activated through you this month. It's about lightness and it's about beauty. So this card is, there's a depth of transformation that's wanting to become activated through you, for those of you who selected Butterfly. Now, for those who selected Condor. Now, Condor has not come up for me either, so this is another new one, which is exciting. Condor is number 24. Two and four is six. Six is security, home, family, faith. And the details of Condor what wants to be activated through you if you selected condor are about cycles cycles of beginnings cycles of endings what's going on in your life it's about reflection condor is about reflection of your cycles it's about perspective and it's about release so if you selected condor everyone this is about you deciding making a decision to release what no longer serves you okay reflect on what what works what doesn't and move forward if you selected the golden orb spider number 32 three and two is five again this is about change so the golden orb spider is a is also a messenger so light crow is a messenger so is the golden orb spider it's about balance so if you selected spider, this is about you activating balance in your life this month. It's about awareness, becoming hyper aware of the energies and of the details of your surroundings and yourself. It's also about design. Traditionally, spider is about the web of life. So it's about understanding you as creator, co-creator of your living existence. And finally, if you selected albatross, again, another five. So two and three together is five, again, change. So we received at least three nines and we received at least three fives over the course of this reading. Now, if you selected albatross, this is about activating through you this month, faith, have faith. Also, it's about endurance. So becoming one that is willing to endure, go with what's happening, release the resistance to what's happening and endure the process because it's growing you. It is about a journey and it is about hope. So if you selected albatross, 
two and three again is five which is change and it is about this month activating faith and hope despite the changes that are going on all right everyone beautiful cards i mean i'm excited to bring these forward for you i love this deck um this is the animal oracle card deck so this is the deck here chip richards it's a beautiful deck i absolutely love it all right